one of the subjects that's becoming more and more popular is the Vietnam era. This is a Navy reel from the USS Sanctuary. There's a chopper taking off from the deck. And it's very common for us as researchers to actually bring our cameras in and set it up in front of this 16 millimeter flatbed and to then shoot the film as it's being projected and, and then the editors can actually feed it into their AVIDs or their editing systems, whatever, and um, do the rough cuts with it. So the, the archives is a huge repository for this restored collection and, and takes magnificent care of this really excellent footage. There are two of them. Two what? They're both. Two World War I um, cartoons, kind of public service announcements. And the surprising thing is that they are very contemporary. They have a message that the government is trying to put out. Um, and so it makes them particularly delightful. Okay, these are World War I cartoons that were shown to the public. This one says, eat less food. This means you and you have Mr. Chubby over here. And he eats and he eats. Now you found these in and which collection? And then it says, Hoover Eyes for the USA, eat less meat. Uncle Sam asks you to eat less food. And he just eats and eats and eats. And then he gets sick and he <laughs> dreams that a bull is attacking him. Um, and then look at him. Look how slim and healthy and he throws away the medicine. Now is that a message for today? Okay, then the second one is even more specific. I wish I could get into the army. Here's a guy and he's just adding sugar, 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 but he wants to volunteer to fight in the war. <laughs> oh, or the Marines. Anything to win this war. These were the days when you said, eat less, so that there's more for the troops. What are we looking for here? I'm looking for a March of Time outtake, and it's about Albert Einstein with a scientist named Leo Szilard, and he was the one that actually drafted the letter that uh, Einstein sent to FDR that started the Manhattan Project. And, this is it? And this, yeah. is the, this is the tape, and it's, uh, there is an edited program called Atomic Power, but this is the outtake. Uh, and there's very little footage of Leo Szilard that exists anywhere in the world. And when I discovered this footage in uh, the 1980s, it actually became the genesis for a Nova that I produced about him. The bomb, the most deadly killing machine ever invented, born in the mind of this man, Leo Szilard, the genius behind the bomb. They, these scientists themselves are recreating for the camera, for the March of Time, that event when the letter was drafted and Szilard went to see Einstein. And that became the beginning of the Manhattan Project. Well, this is a film called The American Road, uh, which is in the Ford Collection, which is one of the gems here in the National Archives Motion Picture Division. Um, it's a donation from the Henry Ford. Uh, collection. This has always been one of my favorite films because it highlights uh, the American century, which many historians think the 20th century became the American century as the United States came of age. And what this film, I think, is great is showing how transportation and the development of the automobile transformed American society the film starts out sort of in rural settings and then moves into urban settings. It's a wonderful film to show uh, Americans at the beginning of the 20th century through the early 1950s. I think this is a, a really wonderful example showing why the Motion Picture Division is such a wonderful resource for the country. Because when 21st century Americans can look back and see the actual film record, of what their ancestors were doing a hundred years ago and see what they were living through and 
how they were being resourceful and dealing with problems and coming up with new inventions. Uh, in a way, I think this film, The American Road, shows that in the age of uh, cyberspace, America can carve out some new paths just by ingenuity. When I was slugging through lots and lots of footage related for World War II for the Ken Burns, the war, um, we ended up doing the campaign in Alsace and I pulled all the film and we looked at it and I was going through it quickly, pretty fast and they decided they didn't want it and I said, just wait a minute, this looks very familiar, let me go back again and look. We were fast forwarding through the war and looking at lots and lots of material and all of a sudden I thought, this looks familiar and why does it look familiar? already said this is nothing and then I came upon here and I thought boy this somehow looks very familiar just the dirt road and then uh, that house is still standing that house is still standing and there there is the uh, there's the evil castle ruins on the top so I knew exactly where I was and this is the town, it's called Obersteinbach. There is, this is, there still is a bus stop. And these two kids, this is the neighbor and this is her brother. Now, now you literally know these people? Um, I knew him before he died and I know her, yeah. And you, so you just can't. So this is, this is, this house is no longer standing. This is my sister's house. Evelyn has said, yeah, it's definitely her. And so, that's my little personal find in how many years? Well, I am getting something from the Universal Outtakes. The, the kind of footage that I really love is the, the stuff that almost shows you what it was like to be at a certain place in time and this is an un unedited piece of footage of driving from Queens into Manhattan in around 1936 and it's got sound so along with being able to see the traffic you get the sound of the traffic you get a construction crew on the Queensboro Bridge that the announcer the cameraman makes a funny crack about WPA workers and then as you get into Manhattan, you, you know, you also go underneath the uh, Third Avenue L, so you get a sight and sound of that. So that's pretty fun. This is the footage. Um, it's obviously being shot on a, probably some sort of flatbed truck, but the cameraman is, is on the truck. The, cam, the camera's pointed, and he's talking over this. So it's... I have no idea why this was filmed. It would be interesting to find out why. But he he narrates as he goes along to say where he is. Like here he's on Queens Boulevard and he's saying that they're you know approaching the the railroad bridge and they're driving under the the L track here in Queens. This is the Long Island Railroad ramp. The cross street that we are approaching is Skillman Boulevard. These pictures are being made at three o'clock in the afternoon. The sun is coming from the left, and the traffic is very light. This is the best and most used route between Long Island and Manhattan. That's pretty neat. So that's yeah. to find audio, you know, to find... It's, what, yeah. it's natural sound right on the film, and it's unedited, and it, you just can... It's like you're, you're driving into Manhattan in 1936. The bridge at this point is being resurfaced by WPA workers. This will be finished in about 1945 at the rate of speed they're doing it now. <laughs> Jack Hammer sounded the same. The center of the Queensboro Bridge. You'll never stop finding stuff here. And that's why this is fun.